Thursday, one, two. Sitting on a park bench. Eyeing little girls with bad intent. Snot running down his nose. Greasy fingers. Smearing shabby clothes. Hey, my friend Aqualon. My dear friend Aqualon. Flying in the cold sun. Watching as the pretty panties run. Hey, dude. Aqualon. of his broken luck. Oh, my old dude, Aqualon. It's been me. It's what do you think? Me. Terrific. Pretty good, huh? Sounds like Scott Mooney from Below the Way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd you think of that, Robin? That was pretty bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I should have done it in my regular voice. Yeah. Maybe that was too dramatic. Aqualon. Aqualon. <laughs> Aqualung, where are you, my old friend? Where the hell are you, my Aqualung? Here you are. Yes, I see you with that sun streak and cold. Your leg is hurting bad, isn't it, my old friend? <laughs> yes. I see you bending down to pick a dog's end. Pick a dog's end? <laughs> the hell kind of man are you, Aqualung? <laughs> Look at you. Look at you, my friend. Don't you start away uneasy, you poor old slob. I mean, sod. You see, it's only me. What do you think? It's definitely got possibilities. Uh, yeah, that's, you, know, you know who I'm copying, whose style I'm copying there is uh, James T. Kirk from the Enterprise. Uh, William Shatner. William Shatner, ever hear him do Mr. Uh, Tambourine Man? <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard him? But I know what you mean, yes, that was good. That and where's was good. Mr. Tambourine Man? Anybody know? You don't have it with you? I thought I had it. Where do you hear this? So what the hell are you doing in this country anyway? You're supposed to be here with your salmon. No, I'm, I'm, I'm here as a mere messenger boy bringing tapes of our new album to the record company. Oh. So, uh, yesterday I had uh, a meeting with our agents and a meeting with our record company to talk about the album release date and a tour and so on and so forth. It's about time you came out with a new album. Yeah, now what happened? Mm. What time I you got motivated? I don't to do this anymore. What the hell are you doing up there with those salmon? <laughs> it's about time, man. You're great. Yeah, well, you know, we we had a good time making the record, and we'll see. Uh, are you we'll, rocking? We'll see whether it's great when we when we actually get to hear it. Are you rocking on this one? So they tell me. Yes. Yeah. I, I think it's a little bit. Uh, you know, back to noisy guitars. And oh, yes. And That's what I like to hear. Hmm. Well, did you miss it? Is that why you came back? Sure he misses it. You yeah. miss well, it? What, what are you? What, do you got to wait for his answer? <laughs> yeah. Who needs his answer? I mean, he came all the way from Scotland, so you could answer his questions? Scotland you came from? No, I, well, England. I guess indeed I was in Inverness on Monday and England on, uh, on uh, Tuesday and here on Tuesday night, yes. Let me ask you one via, question. Via Did either. you miss it? <laughs> is that why you're back? Simple answer to that is, you know, although I may not have been here for two and a half years, I haven't been away. I mean, we were doing concerts in uh, uh, Budapest and Tel Aviv and places oh, yeah? like that last oh, really? summer. So we, we've been keeping our hands in, as they say. Yeah, in but you one, need I'm to... not sure, but we've been keeping them in anyway and keeping a alive musically at least as far as ourselves were concerned you need to put out more new music yeah uh, no music at our age surely we're entitled to a little time off here and there yeah so you've been faithful to it's your wife 20 years absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. have I you hope, been i hope she's been you know faithful yeah to me because too. we don't I want mean, you to have to worry it guess, does work both ways you see you practicing safe sex um, well, not cheating. It it's moderate. It's moderately safe at home, you know. Provided yeah. she doesn't let the sheep in the house. This is the worry. <laughs> you got to be careful of that anthrax that goes around with those sheep. I know all about that. That eats its way through rubber. I know it. <laughs> and that's the worst kind of disease. I think this AIDS eats itself through the rubber. I think so. Oh yeah, especially lambskin. <laughs> I think so. Especially like a 4X that's made out of lambskin. They make 4X out of lambskin? Oh, yes. Oh, do they you, do? Robin, what do you think I use? 
I, I go two dollars on my rubbers. Four X is lambskin. Sure it is. Oh, I didn't know you that. You give me a great idea. Great use for knotted sheep's bladders. <laughs> yeah. which, is in fact, which is, in fact, what they used to That's use. That's what they that used to the use. Yeah. What are you doing with their sheep bladder? You're not selling them to condom companies? We've been throwing them away thus far. Oh, oh shameful. That is shameful. But with this radio station's ID stamped on the side, this could be a big, a big, <laughs> big Howard winner. Stern. Howard Stern rubbers. <laughs> the condom for the condom for that. What? He's at a loss for Condom words. for a... Get this on tape. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of a word low enough for what those condoms were for. If you're a real dick like Howard, <laughs> you'll like these. How's that? Hmm. <laughs> There's a slogan for you. Yeah. I think they'd air that on TV. They are, they are forced to do condom ads now. No, they're not forced. No. So, you know, they still haven't shown any here. Big babies. And check this out. Yeah. Check this out for a second. Tamarine man. Hey, Mr. Mr. Tamarine man. <laughs> this is the style I was trying to go for on yeah. the on the uh, Aqualung thing. You didn't have these singers, though. Well, I was hoping you'd get in there and sing a little, Robin, but, you know, you, know, you never go along with me on these things. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. If I ever do another concert, I want him opening up for me <laughs> and doing this, and we could throw stuff at him. Oh, goodness. Mr. Tambourine. This is much better than... Than Bob Dylan, I think. Oh, yeah. Or the birds. This is background singers. In the jingle, jangle morning, I'll come following you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should do as a goof? You know those tapes you brought to the record company as your new record? You, you submit this. <laughs> the James C. Kirk album. <laughs> and they'll think you've just, like, fallen off your rocker. <laughs> that would be pretty goofy and then let us film it for our TV show and there'll be like a practical oh, bloops, yeah. bleeps and blunders what uh, Ian Anderson knows and the record company doesn't is that Ian is going to submit a James T. Kirk album <laughs> and we're going to see the reaction right now <laughs> oh come on tell me that wouldn't be beautiful yep it certainly would yeah now, let's take a break and we come back let's uh let's let's talk a little bit let's really get let's get to know each other real well that's let's get to know the real Ian in, Anderson. Entire, entirely plausible possibility. Yeah, that, let's get yes. to know the real Ian Anderson. Let's break down all the walls and really get to know you. Let's get inside your head. And that's, yes. Because okay. I used to be afraid of you. As a kid, they told me you were, you were like, insane. Mm -hmm. What right. happened to you? Calm down. Yeah. I mean, no, they used, <laughs> no, I used to be so afraid of you. Like, in fact, the first time I interviewed you over in England, I thought you were going to kill me. Did you think? Did you think I was taller than I than I actually turned out to no, be? No, not taller, but I always heard you were crazy. Like crazy. I mean, certifiably yeah. insane, which was probably something you guys, you know, it was probably, probably just liked. hype. Yeah, you guys probably liked that image. No, 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 no. It was never a contrived thing at all. Merely something that people see when you're on stage. But how on earth anybody believes the 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 image they see on stage? Is, is <laughs> I believe just me. about anything. <laughs> Nobody is the way they look. I was a dopey kid. What do you want? Yeah. No, but I believe that, and I also believed stories, like I used to hear stories about you, that you would go into the record company, if they told you anything, man, that you would just, like, tell them you were going to quit or something. No, 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 no. I used to occasionally go into the record company and bite the head off Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, a very mild-mannered man. And man, what I really want to do is, and I really, I want to get to know you. I just want to, I just want to, like, break down that wall, man. The Ian Anderson wall. He'd like to get to know you. Yes, he would. Yeah. <laughs> He'd like to get to know you if he could. If I could. <laughs> I really want to be, I just want to, I just really want to get into your mind, man. And, you know, and ask you about a whole bunch of different things when we come back. Terrific. All right. Right after this. <laughs>